Muhammad Omar Farooq Bayal ji kar video please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork hello in this video we will talk about the vacheria that is the algae and xanthophyll pigment is present in the algae and that is known as also xanthophyta because xanthophyll pigment is present now uh, in the next uh, another video we will discuss about the xanthophyll uh, xanthophyta but here is the vacheria we will discussion about the uh, vacheria that is the division is basically xanthophyta and class xanthophyce xanthophyce and order is heterosiphonous that's heterosiphonous mean the siphons is not similar to each other basically the different siphons and his family is watcher yes see and the genus is watcheria so that we will talk about the microscopic study of the watcheria that is the uh, microscopic study we will discuss and the first of all we will discuss about the occurrence of the watcheria that watcheria is present in the uh, temperate region that what is the temperate region here is earth which that contain in a inside the middle side the equator and upper and lower side of the um, north and south tropical region and there's a tropical region is the and upper side the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn that is uh, below you can watch this diagram and identify that's the occurrence of the xanthophyta that is a xanthophyta is basically a present is here so the temperate zone is here which that is showing in the figure there's temperate zone uh, which that is uh, occurrence of the xanthophyta or uh, xanthophyta that is a which area which that is present in the temperate zone so that uh, here is the north and south uh, in the earth north and south uh, so here is the basically um, that is the temperate zone here is the temperature zone so now we will discuss about the uh, the vacheria is present in a fresh water stream and waterfall some species live in marine so it means that some species can live in marine but some interstitial there are the muddy places where the moisture is too much uh, is looking here that is the uh, mat like structure are present that is a damp soil and in uh, in the uh, basically ploughed field forming green mat so forming green mat looking like here that is the colleen looking uh, which that uh, are present in the home uh, in different countries uh, which that is looking like a mat structure so that is the green uh, showing in the xanthophyll if are present that is the mat like structure in xanthophyta there is a blue uh, there is a green and yellow green algae structure so that is important now we will talk about the plant body there is a plant body is thallophyte so that is why it is known as thallophyta what is the meaning of thallophyta thallophyta is that plant which that is no differentiated into leaf fruit stem etc so that is basically thallophyte uh, branch cylindrical filament the filament non septate multi nucleated structure it means the non septate nucleated but the multi nucleated structure are present it means the uh, more than one nucleus are present in the uh, basically whole cylindrical structure so here is the rhizoid with the rhizoid is known as heptiron the heptiron uh, here is an anthridia which that is the male or uh, male reproductive organ and here is the ogonia that is a female reproductive organ so specialized reproductive organ is present in the vacheria so heptiron the plant is attached to substratum by colorless branch short rhizoid called as heptiron here i can write here that is the that is the heptiron is the uh, plant is attached to substratum by colorless branched short rhizoid called as heptiron so uh, now we will talk about the cell wall which that is obviously cell wall are present because that is the plant and the cell wall is made up of cellulose and pectin 
the cellulose is the branch of sugar molecules uh, by alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic bond that is attached to each other and the pectin is another material which that is the uh, basically is uh, cellular composition with another uh, things so cell wall is looking here we will talk about that is the oil droplet uh, this is uh, pres pre uh, reserve food oil droplet and so here the chloroplast we will discuss about here there's a chloroplast is this coil shape and uh, without pyrenoids that is mean the pyrenoids are present not present which that is used as a reserve food but the chloroplast is disc shaped that is uh, used for the photosynthesis and light in the presence of carbon dioxide produced oxygen that is 90 percent oxygen will be produced from the algae and sugar or other food will be um, produced as a reserve food uh, for the so that is known as autotrophic living style so that is autotrophic living organism is known as algae uh, now we will talk about the reproduction that is the veg uh, vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction the vegetative reproduction is the fragmentation asexual reproduction is the multi-flagellated zoospores uh, in the uh, uh, terrestrial is uh, aplanospore and uh, if in the water that is the zoospore but uh, anthridia and archegonia is present in the sexual reproduction for using so here the zoo spores that is a structure and uh, decom development we will talk about here here is the zoo spores that is the zoo sporangia are covered by the zoo spores that is a sp uh, zoo sporangia organ so sporangium is that is septa, septa are present which that is create the zoo spores but here is the structure we will talk about here that the zoo sporangium is covered by the zoo spores and that the septum is present is here now the rupturing of the uh, cell wall which that is the cell wall is um, very thin and uh, sometimes is hard and rupturing of the cell wall to uh, release the uh, zoo spores that zoo spores is covered by the flagella flagella that is flagellated and there's a um, uh, resting stage uh, sometimes is the decrease the chloroplast and vacuole and sporangia sporangium in the um, rest stage <coughs> but zoo spores is uh, will arise uh, when the rupturing of the uh, this sac like structure and that's rupturing is zoo spores will be produced which that is more than one flagella or two flagella are present one is short and second is uh, second is long but uh, when rupturing off and, and going to the water and water uh, zoo spore will be uh, precipitate into the substratum of the um, of the inside of the uh, environment which that substratum and flagella is become motionless and becoming dis uh, disappear so that is a disappearance of the flagella that the nucleus will be uh, uh, nucleus is also as well formed and the germination of spore by the division of this uh, zoo spores zoo spore and their germination is a uh, rhizoid will be arise and there's rhizoid is that is a tube and uh, tube act as a rhizoid the tubular um, outgrowth will be produced and that is a zoo spore germination system now we will talk about the planospore germination so a planospore is the terrestrial character and uh, a planospore is the terrestrial species which uh, produce spores like uh, thick basically so now we will discuss about the aplanospore is here aplanospore is basically germination we will talk about here that aplanospore is the terrestrial species which produce spore like uh, this uh, we, uh, uh, i draw here that is the zoo spore is attached with a lateral or uh, erect filament which are modified to um, tendency to produce uh, that is the aplanosporangium there's a rupturing of thin wall of aplanospores that is produce a spores that spores is falling on the substratum and there's 
grow again the whole body of the uh, vacheria that is uh, production of vacheria will be produced here so uh, it's easy to understand about that is not complexity now we will talk about the sexual reproduction the sexual reproduction is the specialized organ is antherozoid uh, basically antheridium uh, and archegony uh, oogonium that is the uh, antherozoid produces from the antheridium and uh, that is the metamorphosis uh, for changes of go uh, oogonium and uh, so there is no septum is present in oogonium and then o septum will be formed and nuclear nu uh, nucleus is present and cytoplasm colorless and wanderplasm is also known as well but is the hair is the receptive spot develops um, receptive part develop for the invagination and trapping of the uh, antherozoids so here is the transfer transfer septum uh, is uh, basically is here the transfer septum will be produced now here uh, we will discuss about the development from a to b to c d and that is etc so here is the male nucleus which that insert into the uh, receptive part develops so oogonial structure receptive spot is looking here and that is the female nucleus is present inside of the and archegonia uh, oogonia sorry so oogonia is here is the female nucleus and that is the stage b which that is the metamorphosis which that is the membrane it will be produced and that's the male nucleus female nucleus go inside and both are equal to each other and that is the fertilization type is isogamy that is the basically uh, not differentiated into female and male gamete so that's important things uh, and another is the oospore will be formed and oogonium will form and that is the meiosis result by the 2n diploid to become a haploid inside of the body inside of the um, reproductive organ female that's the oogonium and oospore will be formed and there's a mature oospore will be formed and there's a oospore wall is around here and there's a oospore wall is around here which that is supported mechanism uh, for the mature oospore and there's a resting stage phase uh, or stage will be formed and there's a thick wall will be formed to preserve the uh, inside of the mature oospore and that is the haploid okay and there's haploid will be uh, further form the uh, when the rupturing of the uh, uh, basically rupturing of the organ then develop a new siphonous filament germination so that's a new siphonous filament germination will be formed so you can see here that is the haploid nuclear will be formed and that is the uh, basically a new siphonous basically produce is here looking here that is the basic reason about that so new siphonous filament germination will be formed so you can see here that is the new siphonous filament germination will be formed is looking that so thanks for watching please subscribe the channel okay